Hi everyone, Nick McDonald here, looking at the US dollar index this week and where this might get to for the week ahead. Uh, as expected last week we sold off a little bit further, uh, back down towards this monthly support level. So on the screen in front of you now we have the monthly chart and we see the price coming down to a level we've been talking about for a very long time and expecting price to get to and it's around about the 76 level. Lower region of 75 but really the key point here is 76. If we start to now get precise as we get towards that level, so the current price is 76.70. Now I want to get precise about my levels and the low on that particular candle is 75.91 and then on these two candles here we have 75.96 and we have 75.92. So we can pretty much say 75.91 there is the lower region of that support level and those are only just below the big number of 76. So 76 really is our key level uh, that's where I'm expecting price to get down to and test. Now as we start to get down there, you know, my thoughts this week are we'll get down and test that. In fact, for my short trade, I have a final profit target of 76.11 because I like to get out just ahead of those big numbers, 76.11. Now why am I doing that? Some of you might say because why would I want to take profits when price might break down through it? Price may break down through there and I'll, I'll consider that and I'll look to see if I want to take another short trade as and when it does. But the thing with trading, it's all about probabilities. Technical trading especially is all about probabilities. And right here, there is support. I am short dollar index right now. I will stay short for a little bit longer, but there's support in the way. And that means the probability is price will bounce off support. Not that it will break through it. It's called support for a reason. Price is likely probability is it will be supported there. Therefore, I want to take my profit before then, and I'm more than happy to be on the sidelines while I wait and see if another trade develops and if I get a chance to trade a break through support. At the moment, my preference, now that we get closer and I start to build a uh, preference towards what I'd like to do down there, my preference would be now to take my profit as it approaches that level and then look for any reason to get long. I won't buy just because it touches support. That would just be one reason. I'm always after multiple reasons. But I'll be looking for reasons to get long. And a strong enough reason might be, for example, that the candle starts to turn around as price gets down there. The trend changes on a lower time frame and then it might get a long trade. For now though, let's just look at the scenario for this week. Uh, so here on the weekly chart, we've pulled back the averages a couple of weeks ago, now we're just breaking down, continuing down, looking for price to come down and test this lower region. Let's just mark in now these lows, bringing the line up. This is really where I want price to get to. Yes, it's a good chance of going a little bit lower. I'm happy to miss out on those few extra points there. I want to be out at 76.11 as my final target. Uh, coming to the daily chart, You've seen here, back here was where a great short opportunity was, where we broke down through this flat level and from this uh, bearish daily candle. We've just continued down, and this is a beautiful trend. And even uh, those of you who are looking at this and thinking, okay, well now the trend has moved and we're coming up to support, that would be true if, if, we're in the, if you're just following the daily chart, and it might be that, that a move has been missed there. However, let's just come down to lower time frames and look at just how nice these pullbacks have been on the way down. We move, this is a four hour chart, move down, pull back into the averages, down, pull back in, down, pull back in, down, we've pulled back in, and this is likely to continue down just a nice slow steady trend towards that level. This is in fact the best type of trend to trade with. And we can even go lower again, let's change this to a two hour chart. And we see a similar pattern, we just move down and pull back in, down and back, down and back, down and back. And we've got these nice bearish candles now in the sale zone. And this week we're likely just to trickle down and continue downward towards that 76 level. So there's opportunity to find trades on lower time frames as well. Uh, but there's equally the opportunity when you're uh, watching these higher time frames to catch the bigger moves. Right now, just to recap exactly what I'll be looking to do this week, I'll be looking to stay short on the way down, however scaling out on higher time frames. So some of my longer term trades, as we approach that level, I'll be looking to scale out and take some profit off the table. However, add to positions if I find good entries on lower time frames. So scaling out of my daily chart and weekly chart trades, but scaling in with smaller positions, but on intraday type trades and just looking to catch more of that move downwards. The reason I do that is, the reason I scale out is to lock in each trade as a winner. So as soon as I'm taking profit off my open trades, they become winning trades. And each time I add to a new trade, it's building it into a bigger position. But every single time I place that trade, if I have another winner, I get to lock in profit on that trade, ultimately bringing in a bigger position, but while not having money exposed on the table because I've been taking profit off the table as it moves in my direction. Ultimately, therefore, what that's doing for me is saying, if price does turn around, there's always a good chance that price will turn around and do the opposite of what I thought. If that does happen, then I've still made money. I've still locked in my profit by taking money off the table on the way down and not, be, not being completely fixated on that final profit target that I have. So 
that's where I think the action will be this week. Looking for that move down, and next week we'll look at it again. Uh, we'll see if we've got down there, or if the candles and the trend are starting to show any signs whatsoever of a turnaround or a breakdown through. And in the coming weeks, we'll no doubt be making a strong assessment as to what we do at this level and whether we look to for a bearish breakdown or a bounce up. At the moment, I think it's the first time I've put my preference out there. My preference has started to look like it would be for a bounce off support, being just such a major support level. And with some other factors coming into play as well, this might provide us a good opportunity for a trade on the long side. But we will be open and watching for the technicals to see which way they tell us to trade. Happy trading all. Have a great week. Speak to you next week.